Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Another day today where temperatures were below average in terms of high temperatures. We got up to 32 degrees, which was well below the average high of 41. However, as we take a look at the low temperature this morning, uh, pretty mild out there. We only started out at 24 degrees, which is actually a little bit warmer than what our average low is this time of year of 20 degrees. A little bit of cloud cover out there kind of held that temperature in check from dropping too much. Record high 69 degrees. That set back in 1939. Here's a live look off to Towards the northwest, you can see just a little hint there of the fading sunlight. Temperatures pretty chilly at the moment. It's 27 degrees. And we do have a wind out of the northwest currently at 12 miles per hour. So it makes it feel like 17 degrees. Temperatures a little bit warmer to the west. They're in the low 30s. Temperatures in the teens in towards uh, Garrison there. Minot checking in at 19 degrees. 28 there in Elgin. But you see some single digits also across our northeast. That's where it's been cool, coldest the entire day. Nine right now in Rugby, 12 in Harvey, and 14 degrees up towards the Turtle Mountains. Now we do have a northwest wind across central North Dakota, but you'll notice we're starting to develop more of a westerly wind out across western portions of the viewing area. We do have some warmer temperatures out that way. We're going to be looking at temperatures actually warming up a little bit once we get past midnight. So current satellite and radar, no precipitation to speak of. We're watching that system move off towards the southeast. We are done with precipitation at least for a little while. Now as you look back off towards the west, you can see a little bit, in fact, light rain falling there in eastern Montana and up towards Alberta and Saskatchewan. A little bit of light snow coming through Regina right now. That's not going to move into North Dakota. It's actually going to be pretty dry overnight tonight and on and towards tomorrow. But looking at some of the temperatures back to the west, and yeah, you see that they're warmer. Temperatures are, in fact, in the low 40s right now off towards the uh, Rocky Mountain area there. And Billings checking in at 42 degrees. So we have a warm front across our west right now, lo currently located in eastern Montana. And that's why we're seeing a few light rain showers across that portion of the country. What's going to happen here as we roll in overnight is that this warm front will push across our entire viewing area. That will increase the cloud cover as we head on in towards early tomorrow morning. It will actually start to bump the temperatures up. So our low temperatures tonight will be just about midnight, and then they'll start to warm up through the night. Now, as we head on through the day tomorrow, clouds will kind of stick around, but it does look like we'll remain dry through the day. So expect a mostly cloudy the most a cloudy day there with temperatures warming up a little bit more than what we've seen as of late. And then by late tomorrow evening, there will actually be a cold front that starts to push on through. But it does look like it will mostly stall out. And that will just keep the cloud cover around through Friday morning and towards Friday during the daytime. We will still be dry, however, just not a lot of uh, precipitation forming along these fronts. But we will keep the clouds around. So the bottom line for the three-day forecast for Dickinson, Pretty steady temperatures, highs in the upper 30s and low 40s. Does look like we'll start to see increasing precipitation chances by the beginning of the weekend, but it's not by much. Only a few light rain and snow showers out there. Williston, steady temperatures. Maybe an outside chance for a little bit of light precipitation on Saturday, but otherwise pretty quiet. Now, in terms of the actual temperatures, here's where we are about now. This is just a model output. So warmer to the west, a little cooler to the east here. But you can see that as we head to midnight, these will be our lows, and then we'll start to warm up. In fact, by early tomorrow morning, some of us will see temperatures back into the mid to upper 20s. Tomorrow's highs that continuing to warm up into the mid 30s to the northeast and mid 40s to the southwest. Your seven day forecast pretty steady here. Temperatures holding there in the 30s and low 40s. Next chance for precipitation will arrive mostly Friday night in towards Saturday. I'll show that again as well. But uh, really quiet after uh, kind of the crazy cold air that we've had as of late. Yeah, the sun felt good for sure. Dave, thanks. Coming